The e-stop board has 15 connections, 5 relays, 3 fuses, and 8 LEDs. It is a central hub for power distribution and communication. This video describes the circuits and functions of each of the connections in the context of the GM and FANUC drawings. CRRA8 is fed 200 volts from CP2 of the power supply. CP2 powers all of the AC fans on the controller. The CRRA8 connection on an A-style cabinet is used exclusively for the fans in the rear of the controller. The output to the two fans in the rear of the cabinet is switched on and off by relay KA33. CP33 receives both 24V and 24E from the power supply unit. Although each has its own connection on the PSU, both voltages come in on one connector to the e-stop board. CRM92 connects to CRM91 on the servo amplifier as part of several dialogues of inquiries and confirmations. Those signals are brake delay and brake on, motors on 1 and 2, servo emergency, motor contactors on, and precharge on. CRM93 is a connection for a hold, hold reset, and on-off buttons not used on robot controllers. This connection is jumped out. CRM B2 connections are for safety I.O. board communication inputs. Examples are SO servo off, external e-stop, and non-teaching enabling device or NTED signals. These are the SSO servo error signals that along with the UOP signals can stop the cell from running. CRMA94 connection is for monitoring servo on 1 and 2 bits and were jumped out on this controller. Terminal block operator panel 14 or TBOP14 is a 16 pin connection used to monitor the state of KM1 and KM2, the dead man switch, and operator and teach pendant E stops. It also has connections to 24 and 0 volt internal and external voltages and connections for an external power on push button. TBOP13 has connections for e-stop, automatic, and general stops. The general stop terminals are used for the enable-disable switch. On a GM Global Robot Standard 3 controller, the emergency and automatic stop circuits are jumped out. CRRA12 is a three-phase output to the pre-charge monitor circuit on the servo amplifier. This circuit informs the system that the servo amplifier is ready for KM2 to close and for the work to begin. CNMC5 connects to the MCC board and has 24 volt outputs to open and close KM1 and KM2. It also has inputs to monitor the status of KM1 and KM2. CRT27 is used to connect the standard operating panel e-stop and mode selector to the controller. CRP34 is a 24 volt external output. CNMC6 is a three phase input from KM1 used for precharge. To avoid damaging the DC link circuit, there is a precharge circuit that regulates the inrush voltage to the DC link capacitors. During precharge, the three phase 200 volts AC is diverted from KM1 through relay KA4 and then three ceramic precharge resistors on the e stop board. 
The voltage then leaves the e-stop board via CNNC6 and is used to pre-charge the large capacitors on the servo amplifier. The pre-charge confirmation signals are received from the servo amplifier when the capacitors are charged to 50 volts. Upon confirmation, KA4 closes and the current flows directly from KM1 through KM2 and onto the servo amplifier. CRS36 is the teach pendant cable. JRS20 carries all the information from the e-stop board to the main board, including teach pendant and on-off signals. The controller will not power up without this connection.